All right, RPM. Uh, this is no video to replace the other one. Uh, after talking with Geo, we've come to the conclusion that uh, the process that I posted for rejuvenation and everything is good, uh, but uh, I needed to make a change. Uh, once you use the ferric chloride uh, from the original. Uh, batch uh, the copper causes the oxygen atom uh, from the ferric chloride <coughs> to uh, be used up so it converts it all back to ferrous chloride and uh, that's the purpose of the uh, bubbler afterwards uh, is to give the ferrous chloride the oxygen atom that it needs to convert back to the ferric chloride uh, so basically once you uh, use the first batch of ferric chloride it's now become uh, ferrous chloride with copper uh, contamination so uh, that's pretty much uh, what's in this bucket uh, it's the ferrous chloride and I'm adding the oxygen back to it to convert it uh, continuously uh, from ferric chloride to ferrous chloride and then back again uh, and that's the point of the bubbler so when I take the oxygen away it's going to uh, convert back basically because the coppers taking up the uh, oxygen atom uh, I wanted to show also uh, what the uh, copper looks like cementing out from it so I'm gonna see if I can get it to do that Okay, now see if you can see this. Sunlight's too bright, probably, but there's copper on the end of that. It's hard to see from my standpoint of the video. But as you can see, if you can tell, the copper has cemented out just by sticking the steel into it. But uh, that's pretty much what we've come up with. Uh, so I didn't mean to misrepresent it. And uh, this is my attempt to fix it. Uh, but I hope everybody uh, chooses to use it. Uh, if not, well, then there ain't much I can do. <laughs> Ciao's to us.